Alright, the ladies and gentlemen. John Sweepy here for part 16 of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. And now I have a pair of headphones. So hopefully that means the echoing will go away. Which means now the audio is perfect for all these streams. About bloody time, huh? So, here we are in the Forest of Worms. Our goal at the moment is to acquire the Horde of Thunder from Wyland's Hold for Jerek. But, we got ambushed on the way. So, we're going to have to fight our way through this ambush first. Well, hobgoblins and goblins await. Like this guy. And we have our new Flame Arrow spell. Which we got from what? Oh wow, he just completely destroyed my minion. Not a good start. Wow, he is murdering him. Man, he does a he does a fair bit of damage to my minion. Not good. These things hit hard. So I have my new flame arrow spell. Should be good. Oh wow, these guys look well armed. This is gonna be a tough ambush, I feel. But we do plenty of damage as well, so you know. And the skeleton seems to be absorbing a fair bit of damage there. But he's trying to I'm sorry, he's taking a bit more hit, took a nine before, even if it was with an inefficient weapon. So this is this could be interesting. And he can teleport! Let's not forget he can teleport if he wants to. We make an excellent team. I'll teach them to try and mess with us. So before we even get to the hold, we must survive the ambush of the forest. Ah, flame arrow could be useful. Whoa, big guy. Oh, we stunned him. Let's put him on fire as well. Good thing about the fire is that when it ignites, if I can get it to hit, it will do extra damage. as burn damage to them. So it's also nice for the DPS as well. Between my skeleton companion, the fire damage. And that's just at rank one. He's hitting him hard. It looks like he's using two trees, actually. It's easily stunned. Gotta love that haste proc. Stuns, stuns, and more stuns. <laughs> so, according to. Can I quote this name? I'm just gonna see if anything. Wrong way, you must proceed north. Yes, I know. I was just checking if there's anything else back here. Calm down, game. Calm down. According to Son Goku, the greatest dragonborn god, apparently when Azagorna burnt down the manor last time, I missed a chest. Huh. <laughs> now leaving mission earlier. Do not go. Oh, we can rotate the camera. Huh. An Imperial Ring. Interesting. I, I thought it might be an area where we can't rotate the camera, but nope. Anyway, we must follow the path. Oh! I guess the ambush is over! <laughs> Alright. I have tracked Jarek's dog to Liren's hold. He must also seek the Orb of Thunder. Hmm. Huh. That meddling Harper. One of these days I'll have to kill him for good. Of course, I'm certain he feels the same about me. Slavus, I don't care how you deal with any adventurers you come across, but get the orb. It's crucial to the success of the greater plan. Ooh. They want the orb too. Indeed done, Master. I will bring the orb to Darkhold when I have it. Hmm. Is that the same guy from the first game who was the last remaining wizard person who wasn't an evil person that we didn't kind of butcher? Or is that a different wizard guy? Because in the third act of Baldur's Gate 1, there was a wizard guy who was worried that his companions had been taken over by the previous villain whose name I forget at this point. 
And now it appears he's helping out the bad guys. If it's the same dude. I don't know if it is, but as far as I'm concerned, there weren't many other wizard dudes just lying around, so... Who could say? Who can say? I guess we'll find out in time, because he's going to be the only thing stopping us from getting the orb ourselves. So this mere quest to get the orb is now more important than we suspected. Because the bad guys want it. They need it for the tower. We must not let them have it. <laughs> Every time I hear a creaking item go down like that, I must always press it, you know. Just in case it's a drop. Because you can never quite tell. Well, we're now inside the Wyvern's Hold anyway. Very nice looking place this is. Let's watch that ring actually, if it does anything special. Let's see, is it any good? No, just a basic ring. Whatever. Something we can sell for some cash, maybe. No, but we're short on cash at the moment, of course. Definitely short on uh, <laughs> accuracy of the flame arrow. So, we turns out that we missed... Uh, oh god, I'm really doing terrible with that. I'll take some aiming lessons. Not that we were used to having to... Uh, not that we were used to having to have to actually cast a spell, though. Other than just Vampiric Touch. So, take some getting used to, I think, but... Seems to be dealing with the enemies easily enough here, so no problems for me. And I completely missed the Vampiric Touch there, which wasn't good. No, we're not jumping around now, dude. This is not the time for jumping. Now is the time for fighting and combat! And searching these weapons racks. Mid-air swords. This is kind of looking a bit familiar to... Um, the way to level up the Thieves Guild from the first one. Sort of feels a bit similar to me. For some reason. It's nice that the enemies are all focusing on this undead walking skeleton. Instead of the guy who, you know, controls the skeleton. But, I guess the skeleton's a really good tank. Holds the aggro like no other. I guess something else I didn't really consider. Another advantage of the, um fire is, you know, I've got an extra elemental thing to use on enemies. You know, if anything's weak to fire, I've got it. Especially when I get my ice weapon later on, which will happen. Hopefully. I'd like to get the ice weapon because I... Unless there's something better than it in the game, I always viewed ice as one of the best sort of elemental things you could get. Slowing enemies down, being able to freeze them in a chance. I can't really think of much better than that. In the game, to be honest, don't really have to use much of the spells at all. But might as well, might as well get some aim practice for later, if nothing else. Desperate, we're gonna need that practice, especially if we do actually need it later on. Uh, oh, I thought that was a second floor for a second. Uh, I'll save in a second. First, we will uh, deal with these clowns. Oh no, I'm getting hit in the back. Can't have that. A trio of uh, guards. I wonder if these are the same guards. I wonder if... I can only assume these perhaps are not the same guards that the enemy are pursuing us. Otherwise they'd quite... Oh, spike traps. Better be careful of those. Looks like this place has a couple of traps of its own. Kind of similar to the Thieves Guild in that regard as well then. Having uh, traps and stuff. Alright. Let's get this chest open. Put some goodies in there. Alright, let's. Careful, Skelly dude. Ah, he doesn't trigger them. Unless they were just recoiling. So, yeah. Alex Osted said the tall guys in the ambush were meant to be the hobgoblins. Which makes sense. Hobgoblins are usually the sort of taller, more menacing version of goblins. You know, the brutes of the goblin ranks as such. Nice pop up there, by the way. 
Oh my god! A floating table! Ah! Not a floating table! Whoa! Holy shit! You think wood would be weak to fire? What is this? Oh! It was an illusion table? A floating table! <laughs> wow, is it? What the? Seriously? <laughs> Oh no! Floating chairs! <laughs> I can't believe I'm fighting this enemy! <laughs> Floating bench now! <laughs> I don't trust you! You might all be. Oh god, it's like PewDiePie's nightmare come become a reality! The killer chairs! Ooh, it's a strange door. Come back to that in a minute. I got so many places to go! Ah, the floating table's back! <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, it's clearly being controlled by someone much more powerful than us. So... <laughs> I can't wait. I I'd love to fight a boss that uses the entire room's objects as, like, minions. It'd be a bit like Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear or something. That would be great. It'd be really good. I missed my lampy touch there. Got it the second time. Better wait than never. Oh, my armor's doing well here. I'm taking the hits quite nicely. Combined with the shield, obviously. Without this shield, I'd be a bit scuppered. This will. Hmm. Fancy door. Fancy door. I can't wait to get your graded rank to this flame arrow. I'm dying to see the shotgun effect. I have a feeling that by the time we finish the ranks of this, we're going to have five arrows. So it will be like a spread shot from Contra as well. The floating benches are back! It's caused more grief. I wonder if the wood is weak to fire. Eh. You never know what's going to happen. Also, it'd be useful for making lighting multiple minions on fire as well in situations such as this so I can burn them all at the same time instead of having to do it one at a time like I'm doing now not that it really matters because my flame arrows are hitting nothing but it's okay uh, I'm out of weight but we're good wow this place is huge it's gone a lot deeper than I thought this must be a pretty significant hold Door to Wyra's cellar is... Wired, sorry. Cellar is magically locked. There must be something you need to do first. Ooh. Guess we'll be going there later. A grand dagger. What about it got any enchants on it? Let's see. Doop, 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 doop. No gems. Hmm. Seems like a bad weapon, but... Ooh, a markable crossbow. I think we'll equip that... Hmm. Yeah. An upgrade for this one. Perfect. Oops, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. We'll keep we'll be keeping the crossbows for a bit. Once we get flame arrow upgraded, then we'll probably sell the bow as well. Could do it now actually, maybe, but who knows? Who knows? Just feeling what will come next. This one has two doors, so this one must be more important than the other. I better forget to smash these pots as well, since they're going to have some prizes inside. Was I pushing that one off then? Huh. Huh, Skeleton actually did most of the work there. Watch out for the killer chair, though! Might bite. The killer table might, though. Might make you sit on it, or something. And yes, Alex Austin, Khan does indeed live. It seems that every street, every recording now, we're seeing more and more old faces. In theory, anyway. Jerick and Khan last time. The wizard guy from Act 3 this time. I think it's the same guy. 
Someone will probably confirm that in the comments for me, which would be nice. We will see. I don't think I really need to put any points in Y3 gen. One perfect touch will cover that. At least that's one less thing I have to ponder. I don't have to ponder anything anymore because of the skills being sorted. Got him. Alright, now we do it. Ooh, this one's got a lot of chest in it. Or oh, two of them. And according to Matt Bennett, I will get my chance to take down, may get my chance to take down Aiza Gora later on. I am not really surprised by that, to be honest, Alex and Matt Bennett. This game, this wouldn't be an RPG game if at some point you weren't fighting a giant dragon. Like, no way. Yeah, it's, it's like the written war of um, fantasy games. At some point, there must be a dragon involved, and you must end up fighting it. How doing for weight? Still doing pretty well, actually. That point in strength certainly helps. And, of course, we have the extra point from the, uh... Item. It's always going to be useful. And at least we don't have to worry about intelligence, because we've maxed it out already. Well, we don't have it maxed out, but we've got more than enough points on it, so we don't need to panic. Looks like we're going to be dragged all over the place here. We've got a cellar to go to. We're probably going to go end up one place over here, one place over there. We're going to be similar to the Firewind Manor. A bit of backtracking here and there, perhaps. Oh god, an entire room full of killer tables. And chairs. It's the, Ike it's the Ikea Nightmare, come to life. You made us badly, now pay with your life. I'll teach you to put me in a cardboard box. Fucking... No respect. Hmm, they seem to be books, so this must probably belong to some grand mage or something. Yeah, I suspect a mage of some kind is involved. Another mace. And a few more pots to smash. Oh, shit! Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> At all, actually. Uh, I was just wanting to pick up the item. <laughs> Whoops, we're skipping ahead. Please don't be a significant cut. Of course, there's a significant cutscene. Great. Of a ominous looking... Okay. That's very nice, but I did just actually want to go back to the first level. <laughs> and clear it out before I went up to the second one. So apparently there's a very significant pile of books that we must be wary of. Whoops. I keep casting the wrong spell, right? Let's be very careful. I'm sure there was a potion down here, wasn't there? I could be wrong. Well, you got to see a little bit of what's to come later on. There's probably a good chance we'll end up going back that way anyway, so... The game really wanted to tell us about that, uh... Hunt tables and book collection, so... <laughs> it's just It's just very proud of its furniture, you know. I want you to appreciate these books and these tables. So please pay a moment and tribute. Also, I was given some interesting information in another. Ow. Aside from running onto spike traps. Hmm. Wyron's Observatory. I bet it's locked. The door is locked. Can we go to the observatory? Ah, we need a key. Seems to be locked. Okay, I guess we're going to that. I guess we are going in the one direction we can go to, which is indeed Wyvern's Hold 2. If only I'd gone up there and been a bit more curious, I would have saved about two minutes. But it's okay. No big deal. At least now we know where we are supposed to be going. Which is a good thing. But by Goth LF. 
Jay said that in the third act of the game, I will give I will be receiving a side mission. Where that when I finish it, I will be unlocking some new skills. So apparently I'm set to unlock even more powers later on. Which could be interesting for um later. Definitely later. So we may have to reconsider the skill set once we get the new one. Interesting to see what that is. And kind of cool that the game is giving us the option to, um, well, have the um, ability to unlock some new skills, which is pretty sweet. 20 minutes. Hmm. I wonder if I should continue. Do one more floor, maybe. Eh, why not? We'll do another floor, I think. 20 minutes. It's not a bad length, but nah, screw it. I've been, I, I owe the people a lot after the amount of time this took to come out, so I think longer parts is a good thing. But, you know, I actually do need to get some more uh, thumbnail cards. I'll be asking an old painkiller for some more, I think. Oh, I'll have to make my own. Pain, pain X Killer, I should say, not Pain Killer. Sorry. I keep calling him Pain Killer. Which is technically right, but there's an X in there, so it's Pain X Killer. But he was the one who's made all the. Ah. Oh. Ow! Jesus, man. These spike traps. Oh, God. The spike traps are all over the place. Not doing that much damage, though, surprisingly. I cannot hold anymore. Okay. Right, let's get away from the thing so we don't despawn it. And a quick trip to town. Odor can ransack chests as well as enemies. Damn, that sounds pretty useful. You must be fun to play. It sounds like all these other characters are fun to play. This game has all that variety and whatnot. Welcome back, friend. I made a sell shit to you. My shop carries the finest armor and weapons. The work of local master craftsmen as well as imports from Waterdeep and on. Don't have any gems? I'm not interested. I'll sell it all. Hmm. That helmet's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah I think it's time for a helmet upgrade. Yep. Nice. No gems, markable weather armor. Not an upgrade, unfortunately. If you need weapons or armor to Wow, two upgrades, that's good. You've come to the right place. Got a lot of rings to enchant for later. I'm gonna be keeping those for now. Lesser potions? Nah, I don't think we need those. So all that. I have a lot of Imperial rings! Alright, that'll do for now. Thank you! Thank you very much. I think I shall equip my new armor pieces. Full helmet. Now I belong in Oblivion. And some chain gloves. Nice. Good stuff. Alright. All good. All is good. Back on the road again. Not to respawn everything I do, but it's not a problem. All back for service. Mm, we've got many directions to go in again. Hmm. Mind you, with the observatory being one of the side areas, I'm now more than convinced that the boss of this area is definitely a mage. Without a doubt. We'll have to get there before the bad guy does, or else they're going to have something very important for the raising of the tower. I wonder how they're going to do... Oh my goodness! Floating books! Books are knowledge, and knowledge is lethal! Read me! At your peril! These books might which we be to die for. Wait, those aren't. Are those books are just pieces of wood or scrolls? Whoa, okay. Oh, Thieves Guild trap. And two is desperate to guard this orb of thunder. And another one, too. Ugh, spike traps. Every, this place has it all. Obviously, Wyron is a uh, 
good subscriber to the Thieves Guild theory. You know? Is that very code actually give him anything back from its castings? Oh, it is. It's just not as much as I think. Oh well, that's not a big deal. We don't really need. We're not really relying on it for life regen anyway, so no big deal there. I'm not like I'm not like going. Oh, I have to have the life for steal from a vampiric cold. It's just for the damage, really. Which is good. And apparently, my minion will get stronger as well as the game progresses, and will change to a different minion at some point. I think. Ouch. You know, your spike traps really aren't working. Um, wow. Hmm. Now, as tempted as, I, as tempted as I am to just see if that's like an invisible bridge, I think I'll decline for now. But it's not without a save option, anyway. Ooh. An upgrade to the shield. Nice. Time to get some good gear together from this place. Hmm. There's a, some sort of secret passage over there, but how do I get to it? And how do I get across to those chests as well? Hmm. Is there a switch here I'm missing? Hmm. Well, I can't actually go over there, even if I wanted to. It's an invisible wall. There must be some trick to it. Alright, I guess we may have to come back a bit of it. Ow! Ooh. Hey, we opened it. Somehow. Guess it must have been... Maybe it must have been a random trigger on the floor. Sweet. Got a secret area. Yeah, these spike traps really aren't cutting it for you, Mr. Wizard. They're doing nothing for you, man. I think the Thieves Guild must have ripped you off when they sold them to you. Well, it's starting to take a bit of a toll now, but... I they're not really going to put me off too much. And our reward. Lots and lots of lovely loot. And some books to read. How kind of him. And lots of scrolls. Too. Got a scimitar. Got a something else. I'm picking them up at such a fast rate. I'm not getting time to have a look at what they are. Hmm. That could be an upgrade. Oh wow, a plus three shield. It actually has some runestones, but it's also an upgrade for my character. Boots, superior studded, no gems. Also no gems. And about the same. These cost a bit more, so I can sell those. A remarkable scale helmet, which is actually an upgrade as well. Nice. Starting to look a bit more mighty now. Get any weapons? Uh, no. Nothing really of note, anyway. But that's okay. We're doing good. We don't. I'm not really worried about the damage output at this point. We're doing more than enough. You know, when we're getting 52 crits, I think we're fine somehow. Might be alright for the rest of the act, perhaps. Maybe only Act Three will uh, slow us down a bit. Another remarkable shield. <laughs> the books can't fit through. How does the power of books have trouble getting through a door that thin? It's anyone's guess. You think they just sort of merge in like wind tunnel style, but no. There are a few problems with that, it would seem. I do kind of wish that some of the spells would last a bit longer, but I can understand why haste doesn't last, like, forever. It's so easy to recast, so... I can understand that. I know. Oh god. Okay, I might have to actually suck a potion here in a minute. Ah, eh, maybe. Maybe I'll just start using Vampiric Touch instead of, uh... Fire Marrow for a bit. Get some health back. Or maybe I'll just use both! Screw it. Need to really panic though. Easy we dealt with. Yay! 
You leave my skeleton alone, you. He's taking a lot of damage here. You're starting to see sevens and tens. And yet he still holds strong. No messing around from this guy. Mr. S I gave him a name, didn't I? I'm sure I gave this skeleton a name a while ago, and I forgot what it was. Now, there's another... Oh, wait. That's just the, um... That's the room that was highlighted in the, um... Start. Hmm. I wonder if we should go over there. You seem to be uh, taking the wrong way round here. I'm actually going to go back a real sec, because I have a feeling that room's going to be significant for some reason. Maybe we get to talk to the mage or something. So I'm just going to very quickly go back. Just to... Oh! Alright, I thought for a sec I didn't have the access to the... Oh, what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to take a potion just to prevent death. Whoop! I'm actually slightly outrunning the fireball. Just going to quickly go in it. Ah. The entrance to Wyron's private study is sealed from within. There must be... A okay. And for the second time in this part, I am denied access to... Um, well... Where I want to be. Sort of. Ooh, the black void showing itself again. Maybe I will go this way now. Oh, I've got this chest as well. Anytime. Alright. I'll go this way just real quick. Nice to not have any more sort of tiny dead ends to deal with. Hmm, looks like this is leading somewhere though. It's groovy. Ow. Okay, this room's got a lot of traps in it. Also a lot of treasure. Something dropped off that. I don't know where. Ow. Jeez, man. Yeah, I must have got what was off them. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's be careful in here. What a strange way to weigh out your weapons, huh? Just have a massive hole like this? <laughs> I mean, obviously you could probably turn them off, but what if he wants to get to his gold, you know? This seems a bit weird. Uh-oh. We're running out of room. Alright, I think we might be safe to do it here. In the middle of all these flame traps. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. This is the strangest way to store items. Oh, I'm just going to put all my stuff in these chests. Next to about thousand flame traps and spike traps. So he never forgets about them all. Welcome back. I receive new shipments frequently. So if you don't see something here now, check back from time to time. Ooh, an upgrade to the even more another up crossbow upgrade. Alright. Boots. Uh, they sell a bit more. Nothing on that. Ooh. Now then, these are gonna get disenchanted. And no, I'm the same as Buddy's got. I should probably sell some of these rings, maybe. Maybe. I might. I probably will do at some Our point. Prices are always more than fair, friend. What are you looking for? We need to break down this uh, glove. Yep. Take all those stones. Always good. Just need to equip the crossbow. We go back. All right, we're getting some good shit in this part. Everything getting upgraded except the actual main weapon. The monk spinning strike can only be used with a one weapon such as a staff, but it hits multiple enemies and knocks them all backwards. Ooh, now then, sounds good to me. All right, let's pick up the uh, helmet as well. Just gonna check if that's a. Ah, uh, this one isn't an upgrade, so. Alright, back to the fiery dance of death maze. Jeez! Ow! Wow. Okay, I think that's just about the... Ah, okay. Okay, don't take too much damage now. It's a bastard. So... Alright, let's get out of this room. I think I've rooted enough from the, uh, the mad person's idea of storage space. 
it's actually we get in the get out the fire for a little bit. It looks like the um, the paths are merging here, possibly. So that's going to save us a bit of time, at least. Jeez. I'd hate to be this guy's uh, infantry manager, that's for sure. Ah, yes, please put the gold back in the chest over there. Please do avoid every and each death trap that I've laid out. I can't quite remember where the spikes belong, but hopefully you'll be fine. Don't worry, I've not placed that many death traps. Just like 80,000. I'll take you about... You have to be very cautious and take about... Maybe six hours just to get through. Oh, and don't feed the bench. It'll give you splinters. Uh, this is starting to look a bit grim. I've got a lot of enemies. This is what I kind of wish I had like an AoE spell or something. But I've chosen the path of the melee. I must see it through. For now, anyway. And, of course, later on we'll get an upgrade to the flame thing. So, you know. Later on, we'll be able to spread the damage out a bit. So hopefully this will be less of a problem. In theory, anyway. Alright, let's not impale it. Alright, yeah, this is all coming together now. The, the paths are converging. At least the good thing about this game is it's very hard to get lost in it. It's a lot more complex than the first Baldur's Gate, granted, but... Still easy to find your way around wherever you need to go, so no worries on that front at least. I guess that other way was just. Oh, I guess you didn't have to really find a secret passage after all. Just perhaps save you some grief. Um, uh, maybe a slightly small problem here. We do seem to have. Uh, hmm. Ah, I bet I know what we need to do. I bet we just need to go into this room and probably press against this wall or something. Yep, yeah, I thought as such. And that's how we get in. Do 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 do. Secret passageway. Wasn't even a prop for that actually, so it's kind of a good thing that we've. Aha! Oh. Great! I found the key so I don't have to. Uh, uh-oh. Congratulations. I am Liran, and this is my home. You were the first to find my private study. It's unfortunate that this will be your last great accomplishment of this lifetime. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So that's why we Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I can't even hit him? What the hell? Well, this is a bit of a problem. Wyman well, looks like a badass skeleton mage, but... I don't really do that much damage to us. He even allows us to save mid-battle. I bet he's not even the real mage. I bet he's like a spirit or something. Did it say search through something there? Or am I wrong? Search the bones of ancient scrolls. In one of the ancient scrolls, you discover the location of Wyron's remains. Enter Wyron's cellar and destroy them to banish him from the world of the living. No! You found. Ah, we need to go down to the cellar and take him out or something. Uh. See if he does monster. See if magic will hit him. I don't know if I actually hit him. Yeah. No. He's not. Nope. He's completely not having any of this. In fact, he's following us around. He's clearly annoyed. Get back here. Don't you dare go to that sewer. <laughs> oh, God. Is he going to follow us all the way? I don't see why he wouldn't. Uh-oh. Something spawned in, then. Oh. Oh, he, he just gave up. Alright. If you ever come back to the second floor, though, you're doomed, I tell you. Doomed. Oh, there's some new enemies now. But I've. But the first floor. Nah, fuck that. I'm staying up here. I quite like the second floor. 
I'm a, I'm a big fan of these death traps. That's what it is. He's at home with death traps and spikes. The mass amount of them, anyway. <laughs> Some persistent guy he is. You'd think he'd want to chase me out of the hold altogether. But... Well, at least we know Wyman's no good either. So, Wyman's evil. The people chasing us to get his orb are evil. And I bet at the end of all this, we kill all these guys, sway you iron, and then it turns out that we've done all the work for the bad guys, and then steal the orb at the last minute. Maybe we should let them do the work, you know. Why don't you go inside Wyron's hold and go for all these spike traps and thunder and fire and stuff like that? And I'll, and I'll just stand here and steal it at the last minute. You never see the heroes do that, do you? Hmm. The bad guys are after this important artifact. Should I A, go after it myself and let them give the chance to steal it at the end, or B, I could wear down the enemy with a hint of endurance and then steal it myself off them after they're knackered, having fought off the Denizians of the Ware to get it in the first place. I'll go for option A. Screw it. It's not like the bad guys are going to show up and steal my thing away from me after I've bloodied everything and so forth. Now I guess we can go into a cellar. Ooh, the cellar. Down we go. To end Wyron and destroy his remains. Hopefully there's a safe point as soon as we get down here. Aww. Go no further. You must leave this castle now. I shall not warn you again. He has floating things around him. He's a lazy mage. Necromancer, whatever the hell he is. <laughs> I can't be bothered carrying my book, so I'll just have it floating around next to me. Is that fear in your voice, spirit? Oh god, is he going to fall us all the way again? He's going to fall us all the way again. I'm going to minorly annoy you for the rest of this dungeon. Ah. Yeah, well, that'll have to be for next time, I'm afraid. You may be a powerful mage, but your mistake was putting save points in your dungeon. Alright, so, that is, um, that. We've made our way past the ambush at the Forest of Worms. And we've infiltrated Wyron's Hold, and now we're going to have a, a second, slightly more irritating companion for next time. So, what do you think's going to happen in Wyron's Sower? What will happen? Are Run, we... fool. Run. I am running. This is good exercise. What else is this guy going to say? What will happen when we get what lies within the Sower, do you all think? And um, any other comments, feel free to make them below. And I'll catch you all next time for part 17, when we'll get rid of this floating green mage guy who talks a lot. I will end you. Just like I'm going to end this recording. See you next time, Baldur's Gate fans. Next time.